Hey, what's up, everybody? Hans Martin Jr., your real movie critic. Today, I'm going to be talking about the film Detroit. Uh, after seeing the trailers, I knew this was a type of movie I definitely had to had to see, especially if it's directed by Catherine Bigelow and it stars John Boyega and Will Poulter with his crazy eyebrows. It, it's definitely something that I need to see. And man, it didn't disappoint. First of all, I give a lot of credit to Catherine Bigelow. She really knows how to direct a movie. She did good in The Hurt Locker and also Zero Dark Thirty, and this one's no different. The way she created the riots that happened in Detroit in the late 60s. And, but most of all, uh, this movie surrounds by this one scene about all these um, people that were being um, pretty much held up by some, the cops, some crooked racist cops, uh, led by uh, one of the cops uh, that was acted by Will Poulter, who he really played an intense crooked cop. It was almost frightening to see this guy, uh, to see how this guy acts. Maybe it was his eyebrows that made it scary. I don't know. I just can't get over the fact that he has some weird looking eyebrows. But with that said, that one scene was really intense. And the way, you know, they, and you see a lot of, a lot of different type of ways of thinking from many different cops. You know, there's some cops that want to do it the right way. There's some cops that want to push the limits. And you see that, that type of debate in between them. And in the end, the crooked cops pretty much almost had it their way. And then they tried to cover everything up like nothing really happened. So it, it, was, it, it was definitely a tense scene. The fact that it was a true story, even though some of them might be written in as dramatics. But in the end, and the movie was long, which I kind of felt that after that big scene, because then it came with the trials and stuff. And the way that... The way the movie ended, it really got me emotionally drained because it's a type of politics that still resonates today in our lives when it comes to cops and with uh, and them murdering people pretty much. And it, it really gives me some thought. I know there's some people that would really like this movie and I know there's going to be some people that really hate this movie, but I really think what Bigelow is trying to prove is that you can't always believe or there's always two sides to the story. You can always always believe just one side. So I I thought it was really really good. Everything was intense. I was pretty much edging my seat, and it was it was a good thrilling type of movie. And that's why I give it my real rating of four point five stars. It's that good. I do recommend you watching it. Just be prepared because it is a powerful tragedy. Thank you all for watching my review. Be sure to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Check out my blog at realmoviecritic.com. Like me on Facebook at facebook.com slash realmoviecritic or follow me on Twitter at realcritic34. Thank you all for watching. Till the next time. I'll see you there.